This video is an overview of AWS Data Wrangler. AWS Data Wrangler is a new open source library created by the AWS Professional Services team at Amazon. I wanted to create this video to really help spread awareness of this new offering as not too many people know about it yet. So in terms of the agenda for this video, I'm going to be covering what is AWS Wrangler, when to use it in developing data pipelines, the difference between SageMaker Data Wrangler and AWS Data Wrangler, what AWS services does it support, and what AWS services it can run on. AWS Data Wrangler is an open source Python library that extends the power of the Pandas Python library to AWS by connecting Pandas data frames to an array of AWS data related services. AWS Data Wrangler is built on top of your favorite open source projects such as Pandas, Apache Arrow, and Bodo3. This offers abstracted functions to execute usual ETL tasks like loading and unloading data from data lakes, data warehouses, and databases using Python. So when should you opt to use Data Wrangler when developing data pipelines in Python? Data pipelines are categorized into distributed and non-distributed pipelines. Your choice on one or the other depends on the amount of data you need to process. AWS Data Wrangler was created with the use case of building lightweight, non-distributed pipelines. So if perhaps you only need to work with thousands or hundreds of thousands of records, then AWS Data Wrangler may actually be a great use case for you. Now, if you're working with billions of records, AWS Data Wrangler perhaps is not for your use case and you should look into building a distributed data pipeline, potentially with PySpark instead. And before you go and write off AWS Wrangler for not being able to work with big data, it can indirectly by calling other services that do. More on this in a bit. So how does Data Wrangler simplify the data pipeline development process? The abstracted functions handle the data extraction and load steps in Python. This enables you to focus on the transformation steps of ETL by using similar pandas transformation and commands. So is Amazon SageMaker Data Wrangler the same thing? The names sound kind of similar, right? Well, no, they are not. Amazon SageMaker Data Wrangler is a new SageMaker Studio feature that has a similar name, but has a different purpose than the AWS Data Wrangler, which is an open source Python project. Remember, AWS Data Wrangler is open source, runs anywhere, and is focused on code, while Amazon SageMaker Data Wrangler is specific for its SageMaker Studio environment and is focused on a visual interface. So what AWS services does AWS Data Wrangler connect with? It allows for easy integration with Athena, Glue, Redshift, Timestream, QuickSites, Chime, CloudWatch Logs, DynamoDB, EMR, Secrets Manager, Postgres, MySQL, SQL Server, and S3. I know I just listed off a bunch of services, so let's talk about the services it works with in a little more detail. Data Wrangler makes it easier to read and write data by having functions to connect and write to Amazon S3. It currently supports reading Excel, fixed width formatted files, JSON, Parquet, and writing to CSV, Excel, JSON, and Parquet. Now, if your data is organized with AWS Glue Catalog, there are dedicated functions to be able to interact with this metadata. Working with data warehouses. So if you have an instance of Redshift, AWS Data Wrangler will be able to read data into a pandas data frame and write data from pandas as well. You can even write data from RDS databases such as Postgres, MySQL, and Microsoft SQL Server. Find that a cool feature of using this to write data to relational database services is you can directly write records stored in a data frame into your RDS database. Moving on to Amazon Athena, Perhaps you don't want your single machine that is running AWS Wrangler to do all the heavy lifting. Maybe your source data lives in S3 and is considered big data. We're talking billions of records here, but you only want to ingest a subset of this data into a pandas data frame. Well, my friend, here is where we can leverage AWS Data Wrangler to call Amazon Athena to do all the work and run a SQL query and return the results in a data frame. I think that's pretty powerful. Moving to AWS EMR, you can run Amazon EMR jobs and even manage your EMR cluster through code. This might be helpful to keep costs low on EMR by automating when you want to run a job and terminate it when you are done. Now, if you're deep in the trenches of CloudWatch logs, AWS Wrangler has functions for interacting directly with Amazon CloudWatch logs. Data Wrangler can query against logs and return it as a pandas data frame. If you're leveraging Amazon Quick Sites to create dashboards, there's an array of functions to manage dashboards and create datasets that power your Quick Sites dashboards. 
Amazon Data Wrangler also supports the recently released Amazon Timestream, which is an AWS serverless time series database. It specifically supports create and delete databases and tables. You can also query and write data back to a Timestream table. For DynamoDB, as of AWS Data Wrangler version 2.3, it supports puts from CSV, DataFrame, or JSON to a DynamoDB table, but it's important to note that it currently does not support reading data. I'm sure with new versions, this could change, but as it stands, you can't read data from DynamoDB with it. However, you can delete items from a table. If you use Amazon Secrets Managers to safely store your passwords and credentials, well, it can be retrieved with Amazon Data Wrangler as well. So now that we know some of the things that it does, is it easy to install and get up and running? AWS Data Wrangler can be installed easily on a local machine with Python 3 by installing any other Python library through pip install AWS Wrangler. It can also be installed through conda using conda install dash c conda dash forge AWS Wrangler. So I just mentioned how it's easy to install on a local machine, but what AWS services can run the AWS Data Wrangler Python library? It can be run on AWS Lambda, AWS Glue, Amazon SageMaker Notebook, and EMR. To use it with AWS Lambda, as you may know, Lambda doesn't come with every single library pre-installed on it. So you will need to upload the Data Wrangler library as an AWS Lambda layer, and you are off to the races. For AWS Glue PySpark jobs, all you need to do is add a new job parameter key value pair of dash dash additional dash Python dash modules and a value of AWS Wrangler. Now, if you want to use it in a AWS Glue Python shell job instead, it is slightly more involved where you need to upload a wheel file to an Amazon S3 bucket and then point your job to the wheel file in the Python library path field. To use it in an Amazon SageMaker notebook, you simply need to run pip install AWS Wrangler and you're good to go. Finally, for EMR, as long as you configure your EMR cluster for Python 3, with two lines of code, it's installed with sudo pip install install AWS Wrangler. So when you don't need to build distributed data pipelines to handle your massive data volumes, and for all the folks out there who love Pandas library in Python, and you need to work with data within the AWS ecosystem, AWS Data Wrangler is worth checking out. It really simplifies the process of bringing your data into Python so you can spend less time fiddling around with connections and more time focusing on data transformations you need. Hope this video was helpful. If you want to learn more about AWS Data Wrangler, check out my other technical tutorials. Also, if you want to support me, please like and subscribe so you don't miss out on my new AWS Data Wrangler related videos and other data integration topics. See you next time.